Welcome to my channel. This is KB Worth Saving 101, and I am KB Kim Baker. If this is your first time visiting my channel, then welcome. I am this crazy lifetime thrifter who decided to turn reseller. <laughs> I currently resell on Poshmark, Macari, and Tradesy. Yay, Tradesy's picking up. Um, and uh, this is, I don't know, my journey. Um, this is a haul video. Thrift Haul Thursdays are my favorite. I will give you some tips and tricks as I go along. So if you're interested in reseller content, do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button down below because I am hoping someday it does help me out. Um, this happens to be, uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this haul. So <laughs> um, I've saved my best items for last. I did pay up for them. And yeah, so let's dive in see what we got. Um, if you haven't followed me before, um, I do pick up all my items from thrift stores um, and I love saving them from landfills. So that's just the way I do it. Um, I will pay up for some items. A lot of the times I will get my items for a dollar. So I always let you know what I've paid for it and um, sometimes I'll even tell you what I'm going to list it for if I've got the um, I've got an, an uh, idea in my mind of what I'm going to do with it. So anyway, um, this is a, is that a Maya? Maya? I, I don't know. Brooke. Um, it is a size. It's not there, but it is down here. And I will have to do a little bit more Googling on this. I don't know very much. I've never heard of this brand. It is an 18W, um, but it is this really super cute. I love the print and the colors on it. Um, you know, like a little pleated scoop neck sleeveless. And it does have a waist, so I guess it's a little bit of a sheath. And it is, um, I would say, a midi. It's a long midi. So, um, but yeah, it's gorgeous. It's really super lightweight. I thought that would do great for spring. My goal is to have all these items listed by the time you've actually watched this video. Um, <laughs> cross your fingers for me. All right. Um, and I picked this one up for the print of it. Um, no idea. Uh, this is Sugar Lips. I just picked up an item last week. I haven't got it listed yet. Um, I haven't um, listed this particular item uh, brand before, but I just was in love with the colors and the print. I don't know. Is it like a digi? It's like a computer digi kind of. Um, it has a racer back spaghetti racer back um, high low sheer um, dress. So yes. Um, straps are adjustable, which is awesome. And I said size small, size small. Okay. Now I got me a piece of vintage and I love it. It is so stinking cute. Um, it's like a little house dress, I guess you would call it. Um, and it is by R and K originals. It is a size 14, hundred percent rayon. Um, and it is in this like Hawaiian tropical print, these gorgeous greens and some peach. Um, it is, um, are you maxi? Uh, just about. Yep. I'd say maxi. Um, and it is double slitted. Okay. With a tie back waist. So, um, I love how soft it is. I love the vibrancy of it. It's just, yeah, I think that should do very well. Um, let's see, more of a modern piece, uh, Jones, New York dress size four, but again, the print was super cute and these blues and greens. And I like this little, like, I don't know, pleated crisscross detailing. Um, and, uh, it's just a little sheath dress with a little back zip, uh, zip slit back zipper entry too. But you know, anyway, um, it is adorable. I don't think I'm a four anymore. Anyway, let's keep moving. All right. I got actually quite a bit of vintage this time around. Um, this one, never heard of this. I found it really interesting. Um, and it is Annie Crims, Crimmins for UMI Collections. 100% um, linen. And when I did some looking, uh, it was pretty expensive. I'm believing it's vintage. Um, it is in this, you can see, look, it's got the, um, I forgot the name of the knot. Can you see the little, the, the buttons are like, um, 
I don't know. Is that a love knot? I don't remember what the name of the knot is. I'll have to Google it. But it is very oriental Asian feeling. It has shoulder pads. It is a maxi shirt style dress, um, 100% linen. And it has this beautiful, gorgeous print bottom and double slits on the side. So yes, I think that should do very well. I'm super stoked about that. Oh, two like expensive like brands like that was one and so is the next one. Oops. All right. Well, this one's just gonna nip that off. Um, so this is a vintage, and I'll call this a smoking jacket. When I list it, um, it is a metallic maroon. Look at that. Um, and that is what jacquard. Uh, what's the other name for it? I don't know. Um, anyway, it is really super pretty. It is by the Limited. It is a size ten. Don't think we're made of anything spectacular. Oh, tags on the, let's see, dry clean only. What do you say on the other side? Do we have, uh, nope, nylon, polyester, um, acetate. Um, the buttons are really cool. If you can see them. There you go. So, um, size 10, it's really super cool. Um, I love picking up unique items that I don't think anybody else will have in their closet. And that's been doing very, very well for me. So I'm going to stick with it besides picking up my bread and butters. So yeah, it's a really cute jacket, isn't it? Ah, now if I only had only some place to wear it to. Ah, all right, I'm going to keep moving forward. This one's more of a modern piece and it is really super cute. Um, it's a cabbie, size medium. Don't think it's made of anything spectacular. Are we, are we, are we? Should put my hair in a ponytail always so I can actually see. All right, I, oh, there it is. I can never, it's in my, it's in my mouth, it's in my face. What does it say? Um, Cabby, the great thing is this gives you your style number, so you can always go through and Google that style number and come up with its actual description and all the other good stuff. Okay, it is just 100% polyester, but it's style 401. Oh, Gotta love that, but it is really super cute. It is a size medium, um, elastic waist, mini, sheer, um, animal print. So there you go. Cabby does pretty well for me. All right, and this happens to be an Ann Taylor. It is factory, but Ann Taylor does so well for me, guys. I don't care if it's factory, I don't care if it's loft, I don't care what it is. Size 10 curvy, and they are shorts. I rarely find shorts. So if I can find them for a dollar, nice little dress shorts, um, then yes. And uh, gotta love Ann, because she also does, gives her like the curvy, you can look them up, you can usually find stock photos if you want, um, but also the descriptions. All right, this is White House Black Market. It is a size six. So again, another one of my bread and butters. It is super adorable with this mock cross, side zipper entry, pair of skirts. Ah! Um, I definitely will put it uh, under like active leisure um, and put in for, like this would be cute for golf. Um, and I love the little, I don't know, is that like a basket weave window pane plaid? <laughs> there you go. Get those keywords in. Okay. Next. Okay. This is another one of those. Um, yeah. This was like in a highly expensive. I've never heard of them. So any of you have ever dealt with them before, please leave a comment down below because I always love learning from everybody else too. Um, Orla Kylie? I think that's how you say this, Platter, probably, platterly, probably slaughtering their name. Um, it looks like it's a vanity sizing because it says a size three. There's the full tag. Um, and let's see, what else can I tell you about it? Um, it is 100% silk and it is definitely a lagging look. So I'm um, super stoked about that. I'll throw it on for you. Okay, let's see. Since I don't have hangers this week, again, <laughs> it's actually the same day. So if you watched the last video, yes, I'm still wearing the same outfit because it's five minutes later. All right, 
why am I having issues? Because there we go. Um, so yeah, it's just a straight down front. Look at this, very Asian Oriental. Um, it does have a fold pocket to it. It's got the sateen. It is silk. Oops, can I get lower? Um, and yeah. So um, I will be Googling a lot on this particular brand because I have never sold it before. It is supposed to be pretty expensive. Uh, leg and look is really in silk, can't go wrong. So it's got everything going for it. Um, it is fully lined. What else? Does it say anything else in here? No, 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 no. Like no style numbers or anything. So um, this also might be one that I will take a, um, when I take photos, I might use my Google lens to um, see if I get any more info on it. It might be easier. You never know. Okay. Ready? And it's not a very big haul, so hang in there with me. All right. This is a White House Black Market. It is a size small, and I think this is stinking adorable. It's like a little mini dress or a tunic top. It actually goes down to almost my knees, so but it would look cute with leggings. It's got this like draped scoop. These could be like a cold shoulder. You could actually unbutton the sleeves. If you can see, they got buttons on them. Um, I love the print. I love the pattern. Uh, the whole thing is just adorable. I think it's going to be too small. Otherwise, I try that. <laughs> All right. Another bread and butter. This one happens to be, of course, another Ann Taylor, but this is fine Italian fabric, it says, size eight. I couldn't find any, there wasn't anything special in material wise, but it says fine Italian fabric. Um, hopefully you can see, it has like this ribbon detailed waistband and ribbon detailed pockets. Gotta love pockets. Um, back slit does have a little pleat and again, um, a little detail around the zipper, just a little pencil skirt, and yes, um, this one goes yeah to the knees. And since Ann Taylor happens to be a little bit more of a professional line, I won't mind using the word pencil skirt in there. Not necessarily mini. All right. Let's see. Next. And then I have some vintage, which, I mean, I think the other one was vintage, but um, that's all right. This one's a White House Black Market again. It is a size two. I don't like picking up a smaller size, but it's really stinking cute. So um, look at this. Is that not precious? Look at this lace with this ruffled like peplum and this sheer layered um, full skirt, sleeveless scoop neck, keyhole cutout. And again, photo Googles might help me out to find its stock photo or whatever. Um, Oh, guys, by the way, so I'm, I've had quite a few sales on Tracy lately, and I'm going to tell you what I did that I hadn't been doing. Um, when I cut and paste from my Poshmark to stick into, I haven't gotten Vendu yet, that's next month. Next month, I'm going to um, invest in Vendu because I'm going to be gone for half this month, so I'm not going to do it, um, you know, now. Anyway, what I do is I cut and paste. I copy and paste and go to Tradesy and put it in myself. Well, I always have, you know, top seller, next day shipper. Um, and so I was kind of taking out um, some of my key stuff that I have on my Poshmark that I qualify for. <laughs> anyway, I'm like, you know what? Um, I'm going to leave the top seller because I am a top seller. It's just not necessarily on Tradesy yet, um, and do it that way. And I don't know if that's made the difference, but I had two sales. And so if you don't go through, no, you don't want to lie. So um, I do ship next day. It's either same day or next day. Um, so don't lie about your shipping time. Um, I like to do that because it keeps my um, closet really going. And I think it really makes a difference because they go through and say, oh, we're going to get our money fast. We like her. So, um, but top seller and next day shipper, and I put that in all my listings. So if you aren't doing that, think about what you do best and put it in there. All right, we're going to keep moving. Uh, let's see, what else do I have? Come on to some vintage, vintage, vintage. Okay, we'll do my belts and then we'll get to the vintage. <clears throat> Excuse me, I am so stuffy. It has not been a good, uh, 
I'm like head clogged. So, all right, let's see. This is Joan and David. Never heard of this brand. It is a medium. It is a, um, a size medium. It is a leather belt and it is a leather braided, weaved, uh, pebble textured, square um, buckle. And yes, so for a dollar, I definitely will pick that up. Belts do very well for me. I like listing them. They pretty, I sold some the same day that you list them. So if you haven't tried belts, do. Um, this one happens to be a Joan and David calf skin. Um, and it says USA. So I'm believing these are vintage. Um, size medium, again, so the same person. Um, and it is this like embossed, um, I don't know, alligator or whatever kind of um, tan leather. So, or calf leather. There you go. Uh, all right. So now I'm on to my vintage. I got quite a bit. Um, my favorite brand, I got two this week. This one happens to be Cache. It is a size 12. These are extremely long. So um, I might actually put tall in the listing. And of course, I'm going to list them um, with the length. Um, I'll probably list them underneath both. Uh, but if you can see, look at that beaded detail. Ah, I love it. Um, and they are a straight leg flowy dress pant. So that is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, I actually see that with my little smoking blazer because of the colors. Um, you can see that there's some copper and stuff in there. So um, yes, I can't wait. Um, these being unique, I don't know. Ugh. Might start them at 75. So let's have to wait and see. All right, um, this one is a Karen Lawrence by Matthew. Um, again, it is like this, um, I'm losing the word, jacquard, yeah, um, embroidered, look at the sleeve, um, some little pearl beads, um, vintage, uh, like, not a shirt top, but you could wear it, I mean, if you, you know, put a shell underneath it, but um, a blazer, so short sleeve, um, and it has that, um, it's like a rose gold metallic going through it, really pretty. So yes, vintage, not sure what I'm gonna list that one. All right, and are you ready for this one? It's another cache piece, and this one actually is like a double different, it is Day More, which I know nothing about Day More, and then it has the cache um, label there too. So um, I'll have to do some more Googling. It says a US size six. I didn't tell you any other sizes, did I? Uh, no, 10 was the Lawrence, and what size were you? Was it 12 on my pants? So there you go. This one says a US size six, and <clears throat> if this happens to, I think it's gonna do well because it is definitely like I'll have like Mother of the Bride, but um, it has it's got shoulder pads. It is vintage. It has um, this peplum. Okay, so it looks like it's two piece, but it is one, and it is a maxi all the way to the floor. Is there a slit anywhere? There is a front, nice long side slit. Um, but I think I'm still going to list this under modest since most of it is um, covered up. And um, I think that's a gorgeous piece. It's, um, it looks more blue there. It's more of a purple, more of like a royal purple. So I apologize for that. But I think that'll do very, 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 very well. Mm -hmm. um, okay, now. Here we go. I found a vintage, uh, made in the USA, Misty Harbor. Um, and you can see here's like the union tag, um, size 14 regular. So um, this is really cool. Uh, it doesn't have its belt, but that's okay. It's in pristine condition. There's like no demarcation on it. it does have like a little interesting kind of funky collar. Not that I would do it, but you could go through and, you know, choke her up, choke her up. Um, and it, you know, it's just really cute. Oh, wait. Oh, wow. 
I'm like, what's in the pocket? It's usually like a snot rag. <laughs> this is an attached change purse. Oh, okay. I might have to work on the zipper. It seems like it's stuck. Let's see if I can see through it. I don't think there's any money in it. Um, I'll have to work on the zipper. Oh, there it goes. And, um, but how cool is that? To have like a change credit card, um, money holder attached so you can't lose it in the pocket. Let's see if there's anything else interesting. Oh, that one I might have to fix. It's got a hole in the pocket. All right, that's about it. Anyway, um, yes, it's a long tan and black trench. Um, it has some like little bit of shoulder detailing, sleeve detailing, and um, but I think that'll do very well. All right. Now these are really funky and I did get them for one dollar. Surprise on that one. <laughs> okay, this happens to be, um, I don't know, is that Michelle? No, because it doesn't have, Mitchell? Mitchell. Mitchell Perry. Okay, I've never heard of him. These are leather and fur trimmed ankle booties and I had been eyeing these because I thought they were just stinking adorable. So, um, a very expensive brand so I'm super stoked on that and they are vintage um, they say 38 made in Italy 30 at wait 38 and a half wow I don't think I've ever seen a, a size like that anyway <laughs> there you go I will have to google the size chart go from there but they are adorable they do have a little bit of wear but not much and yeah they're stinking just they're cute. Look at that little faux fur, and it's so soft. Um, I'll see if I can figure out what fur it is. I don't think there's any names. I mean, it's vintage, so, you know, they didn't do all the markings like they do in our shoes like they do these days, where you put, you know, this is what it is. All right, although there's a, um, what does this say? Um, it says a size eight, and there's like a little um, piece of tape in there. Um, of course, I'll remove that because... Yeah, that's not part of the actual shoe, um, but no numbers, no nothing. It is what it is. But for a dollar, I'll give it a shot. And the only thing is, is that there is just this tiny little chip in the bottom of the thing, but it's not going to change the wear to it because it's just a tiny little corner. All right, now for my full priced items. Okay. <laughs> I don't know who the heck this is, but it is bright. It's loud and it was obnoxious. And I'm like, uh, it's six bucks. And I got 20% off of that. So it is Rising International. It's 100% cotton. It is a size 2XL. They currently have no 2XL in this style. And it is this boho rainbow hooded zip up sweatshirt with all of this funky, wonderful embroidery look at this it's gorgeous and it's in mint it is in mint condition so i'm super stoked about that they were there was prices all over i don't mind listing my items higher and letting them sit so that's what i'll be doing um at least at 100 if not more i'll do a little bit more research but yeah all right and my last item that i picked up uh, my stores have been marking up my fry boots and um, some of the other brands really super high, so they must have missed that these are Coach. Um, so you can see they're Coach here, um, and I've already Googled to make sure that they were real and authentic so that I, you know, I'm like, I'm always hesitant when it comes to picking up um, brands that you know get, I don't think they do it in shoes, but they do it in the purses all the time, but I wanted to make sure. And this one happens to be, what does it say? A Paulina so it's a Paulina leather size what size is that can I read it <laughs> 7b so it's a size 7 um, and it's coach New York now I know coach New York is really keywords for purses I don't know about shoes 
So I'm pretty darn stoked about these. They were t they were at ten dollars, and I did have a twenty percent coupon as long as I spent twenty dollars. So that's one of the reasons why I got like my little my green dress and some of my few my front dresses, my Jones New York size four because if I go through and make it to twenty, and I already have ten, that's two dollars that I get off, which I'm like basically I got those two items for free. So <laughs> they always get me with those darn coupons. Anyway. That is a mahal for this week. I appreciate you joining me. Don't forget, if you learned anything, you had any fun, hit the like, hit the subscribe, and come back and see me again. But until next time, guys.